Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio, those cards is coming out fast for you. Scorpio, what's going on? I think we got all the Scorpio in one walk. Yes, we did. You're going to be reconciliation. Playfulness is coming. Romantic feelings for someone. You separation. Separation card came out. Codependency card came out. Heart to heart conversation. Let me get some cards from here. Answer card. Is who's reconciliating with their past universe? Is Scorpio reconciliating with a past? Don't stop. Nope. Nope. They not stopping. They continuing. Scorpio is staying on a path. Scorpio is not thinking about reconciliating with anyone right now. Let's see. Universe, give us some more information. Okay, you saw that? Nope. No reconciliation. Scorpio ain't with the shit. Scorpio saying, fuck that, nigga. I'm not coming back to you. Nothing there for me. Scorpio, playfulness. You had a peaceful revolution with your new person. Romantic feelings. Unlikely. You don't have no romantic feelings for this person. Um, separation. Not the right time. So you're not thinking about coming back to this person. Codependency. Yes, this person was codependent on you. And heart-to-heart -heart conversation. No need to worry. No. No. Yo, Scorpio, I swear, I can't even tell you no lie. If you look at all my readings, yours is 100% 100 on point. You like, uh, no reconciliation, Playful, playfulness. You having a peaceful revolution with whatever relationship you in. Um, romantic feelings, unlikely. You're, you, you really don't feel for the person you with right now. You feeling like separating from this person, but it's not the right time for you to separate from this person. Um, someone is codependent in this relationship. It could be you, Scorpio, or the person you with is codependent. This person rely on you for everything. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yes, it is. So it's a double confirmation. Yes, you in a um, codependent relationship. Um, heart to heart conversation. Um, no need to worry in this conversation. The answer is no for you. Even if you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, it's still no. So somebody done really fucked you over, Scorpio, and you ain't fucking playing. You ain't with the shit, Scorpio. Scorpio, give us some information. Yeah, some secrets and lies had came out. Someone's holding some information back from you. Um, possibly it could have been an emperor, someone that's in leadership, someone that takes charge, um, Aquarius energy, star on board. This person is well known in this community on the platform. Um, people recognize this person. They work. Let's see separation. Why is the separation? Let's give all right, let's see. You got the Ten of Cups and separation. Something's going to come back together. Um, marriage and a solid commitment. Got the Wheel of Fortune and a reversal on a yes. On a codependent. This means in bad luck. Someone is just having bad luck in the relationship. Um, they pentacles is not coming in the way it usually come in. So when the uh, Wheel of Fortune and a reversal, that means bad luck. Someone is receiving bad luck right now. So this is why they are codependent on a relationship. Um, then you have no need to worry, no heart to heart conversation. So you have the 10 of Pentacles in a reversal. So this meaning you're bringing something to an end, a family dynamic, a family dynamic to an end, a family situation to an end. You got the page of Pentacles in a reversal. You're not accepting any gifts, no romantic suggestion, no relationship. You don't want it. Right now, you're in solitude. You just want to stay to yourself. Uh, I'm going to see if I could do a self-love card for you because this self-love card is for someone 
who's letting the bullshit go and they don't give a fuck. Scorpio, you don't give a fuck about no, no gifts. You don't care about none of that shit. What's bothering you is them damn secrets and them lies that came out. So I'm going to give you a, like a positive card to lead off. Um, in the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes that was not enough in that situation. It wasn't enough. Um, peace comes from within. You realize that. Do not seek it without. You You realizing that. That's probably why all the no's is up here. Separate, you, you, you don't want nothing. You don't want a reconciliation. Um, you want a separation. You don't want to be in a codependency relationship, dependent, or you probably is codependent now because your finance ain't coming in and you don't like the feeling of depending on somebody else to take care of you and your needs. This person probably even buy your pads. According to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power. Who I told them? Zeus. Split them into two separate beings. Con condemning them to spend their lives in search of their own other halves. So this person, you know what that story is about. I know that story with the, uh, each person is connected with soulmates and then Zeus split it, the two people up. So now the two souls are searching for each other. This is why they say your soulmate is out there and you haven't found your soulmate. You're going to know when you found your soulmate, you're going to feel a powerful energy. Even when you touch this person, you're going to feel a powerful energy between the two souls that's connecting. That's finally connecting. Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. So that is the message. And I believe Scorpio pretty much mastered that by saying no to whatever fucked up situation Scorpio was in. Scorpio learning to love herself. Scorpio is um, feel like she tried to make things work. Scorpio feel like, you know, she needs to go find her other half is out there, her soulmate, her true soulmate. And Scorpio is not rushing to get into a relationship right now. Scorpio is focusing on self-love right now. All right. I, I definitely feel your energy, Scorpio. I can see that you've been through a lot. Um, please hit a like and subscribe and come join Positive Kings and Queens. I will be doing Zodiac um, daily reading every day. And I will be doing live readings. So if you guys want a live reading, um, some live energy and get more in tune with the cards, definitely hit me up between 10 and 11. Stop by and get your free reading from Positive Kings and Queens. Um, make sure you Google me on a search engine. So that way you could definitely get your free message or either just hit the bell or the notification so you'll know when I'm on and you won't miss none of the free readings because I will be doing the free readings on a daily and I will be doing um, free um, all signs reading. Okay, so Scorpio, have a great day and I hope that you like the message and if you didn't, come back tomorrow and it might be a different energy. Okay, have a great day.